All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here, and uh, we are nothing if not nimble. <laughs> and uh, that, 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 of course, is Nick Christensen over there. Hey, Peter. How you doing, partner? Great, great. All right, all right. and uh, we have some very, very special guests in our studio. I want to introduce, first of all, Clarabelle. How are you? Good. Good, good. And uh, uh, Clarabelle Nightingale, that is, that is your pen name. And uh, we're, we're going to be visiting with you for the next half hour, so we got lots of good things to talk about. And Travis is also here. Hi, Travis. Hi, how you doing? Good. How are you, sir? Good. All right, well, welcome to the show. And by the way, you might want to wave to the folks on Facebook, because uh, we are on Facebook Live. So, uh, <laughs> so, so uh, Clarabelle, um, I just found out about you a little while ago, and as I was reading your bio... You know, I'm telling you what, you're you're kind of a cool kid. Uh, you, <laughs> you 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 have gone through a lot, uh, medically yes. speaking, right? Yes, I have. Can can you do you know all the words and everything? Of course, this this is your body and everything. So, uh, well, what what kind of things have you gone through um, that that most of us couldn't even understand or or be able to handle the way you are? Well, first of all, um, um, my rare condition called. <laughs> it's okay. Hypohydratic ectodermatosplasia. It's a very big word. Okay. <laughs> and and what does that do? Well, first, I don't sweat. I have hardly any teeth, little saliva, no tears, small ear canals, and swallowing and chewing are hard. Wow. Wow. All right, so, <laughs> and and not only that, but I also I understand there there are some other things that that you're dealing with as well, right? Yes. Okay, like like what? Uh, what can you share with about it, about that? Um. Well, kids tease me a lot because of my teeth. Mm-hmm. Right. Which I think is unkind and unfair. I I would have to agree with that. Now you you also have uh, you have a club foot. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And so how, how have you been dealing with that? Um, well, I need, um, so physical therapy doesn't help me mm-hmm. like it would for other people. So what I need is um, to do, um, well, I need to treat both of my feet um, with the same amount of, like, force. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, so the whole idea is to make it so you can walk more comfortably, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. And also try to build muscles in my club. Sure. Sure. What sports do you play to do that? Um, I play um, hockey, Ooh. tennis. I also do ballet. Wow! Very good. By the way, I love your dress. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Now, 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 could you could you tell me how you came up with the name Clarabelle Nightingale? Well, before my mom decided to name me, she thought of the name Clarabelle. Okay. All right. And then the Nightingale part is like really. I just really like the nightingale. Well, that is because because Flor- it's also a bird, and well, I love all animals. And and do you do you know who Florence Nightingale was? Florence Nightingale was a famous nurse. She healed people. Yeah, she, 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 was, hel- right. she helped people in the civil sil- sil- right, war. Right, exactly. Very good, very good, very good. Now, I understand that you're an author, and uh, so can you tell us a little bit about, about uh, the book you're writing? Um, I'm writing a book called Adventures with May May, and it's about a girl named May May on a farm. And, yeah. <laughs> All right. And so what, what kind of a uh, – so, Travis, now I understand that you are going to be illustrating this book. Is yeah, that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I knew uh, Clarabelle's mom when uh, in high school. Okay. And so she was telling me that uh, Clarabelle was writing a book and needed an illustrator. So um, I do graphic design and photography and um, illustration. So, yeah, I'm helping her with that. Okay. All right. Now, now – uh, at, at what? How long ago did you get involved with this project? We just started this in November. You did, okay? Yeah, just, yeah. just in November, okay? Yeah. So Claire Bell's got most of the book written, and uh, right. now we're we're tackling the initial illustrations right. and sketches yeah. and layout. Now, now, if, in case you're wondering, uh, if you're watching on Facebook, and you 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 saw Clarabelle grab this mist bottle. 
because she doesn't because you don't sweat, right? You, right. You have to you have to kind of moisten your skin, right? Uh, no, the spritz bottles to help cool myself down. To cool yourself down. Okay, gotcha. All right. And what you have a jacket too? You wear once in a while. Yeah, only when it's cold outside. Okay. And well, your your cooling jacket, your cooling vest. Oh yeah, so. and then my cooling vest is for when it's like super duper hot outside. Right. right. <laughs> now we we were we were able to to get a fan, so you're a little more comfortable. This I hate to say, this room is really really hot, mm-hmm. e- even for for those of us who don't have the conditions that you have. Yeah. And so we were able to run run across the studio and find a fan. Is that feeling better? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that's great. So, so how did you how did you come up with this concept for May May? Uh, and uh, did, did you did you always want to write a book, or when when did this first come about? Um. Well, this first came about. I don't remember when. Mm-hmm. But I just like really, really wanted to write a book because it like sounded awesome. <laughs> All right. Now, do you, do you like to read? What, what, what are your favorite kinds of books to read? Uh, my favorite kind of books to read are the Magic Treehouse series. I would also recommend it for people who are starting to, um, you know, do chapter books. Joining us in the studio, we have a Clarabelle Nightingale and uh, her friend Travis, who's joining us as well. She's an author, uh, just getting ready to publish her first book. And I understand we have a special treat on the phone. Hi, Mom. Hi. Hi. You you are on the radio with uh, with Clarabelle. Yeah, I'm listening to this. Does doesn't doesn't she sound great? She sounds wonderful. <laughs> I just had a couple questions. All right, go ahead. What's your question? Well, the first one is Clarabelle, I wanted to know what's the actual name of your first book? Well, I'm sorry. Go go ahead. Yeah. <gasps> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Or is it longer than that? What's the whole name? Uh, <laughs> uh, mm, Adventures with May May. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and are you writing one book, or are you going to write a book series? I'm going to write a book series first, starting with children's books, then going up to chapter books. Wow. Nice job. Awesome. And one more question. Yes. What's your dream? Well, my dream is to meet Ellen DeGeneres. Wow. Well, it, it, let, let me tell you what. Uh, the, 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 the nice thing about being on Facebook is we are on all over the world. Anybody, anybody who, who, who checks into this. And so if there's anybody out there in our Facebook audience or on, uh, on, the, on, our, on our radio station listening audience that knows Ellen or knows her producer, you might want to contact them. And so what we'll do is we'll take your information, and if they call us, we will set we, we will try to set that up, okay? Okay. Does that sound good? Okay, okay, Mom, anything else? Um, I just want to know, do you have a website? Yes, we do. Uh, it's, it's, oh, oh, she does. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Claire, yes. Claire, Claire, uh, what's your website, Clarabelle? Yes, I do. It's, so go to ClarabelleNightingale.com. Once again, it's ClarabelleNightingale.com. <laughs> Wonderful! This, You're doing great. This How young girl is a is a born marketing star. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> All right. Well, 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 Mom. Thank you so much, and thank you for sharing Clarabelle with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks for calling. Okay. Well, that was, that was great. That's wonderful. Okay. So now, why why Ellen DeGeneres? Um, because she's funny and positive. And I love her show. Okay. She could hook me up with a specialist who could make all my dentures until I'm a grown-up. She could also help me get a producer to sign and deal for my whole book series. Then I'd then I'd have the money on on money to start the Nightingale Foundation to help other children get teeth. Wow, the the Nightingale Foundation. How did yes. you how, how did you think of that? Um well, <laughs> this actually started yesterday when um I was with on um, Pea Green Boat cuz first we were thinking of the Clarabelle Foundation, mm-hmm. but then she was like, 
Ooh, the Nightingale Foundation. I like the sound of that, and then we went with that. Okay, now now you got to make sure that nobody else already has that, the Nightingale Foundation, because there used to be a man named Nightingale many, 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 many years ago uh, who, who um, uh, had, had a radio show. And it would, and he was very popular. So I, of course he's been gone for many many years. So it, it might be uh, just to look it up <laughs> if online. If he would still be alive, he would be like a hundred and fifty. Uh, probably he would. <laughs> 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 but anyway, uh, th- that that sounds like a wonderful idea. Now, um, a- as as you grow and get older, do you have any uh, you have any plans or goals aside from being an author? Uh. I want to become a ballerina when I grow up. Oh, man. Well, you know, that, that's really interesting because just a week or so ago, we had a wonderful program here in Missoula called Ballet Beyond Borders. <gasps> yeah, we didn't get to go to that. We didn't have time. Okay. Well, let me tell you, that they brought some of their dancers in here. Yeah, at- so, and they were actually from the um, the Rocky Mountain was hosting it, and mm-hmm. that's actually where I go to ballet. Is it really? Yes. So, so, so you know the nice folks there, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Well, let, let me tell you, uh, I, I can't think of a, a more wonderful goal than to become a ballerina. That's wonderful. Good for you. Mm-hmm. So, so, so now, do, do you go to school, uh, or, or, or do you are you homeschooled? Or what? I'm homeschooled. I okay. tried three different schools. All, all of them didn't work out. So we decided to homeschool. Okay. It was the easiest way for me. Sure. So, because so, that way I can eat while I do my schoolwork. Because, like, every two hours, like, I go an hour and a half, and then I'm hungry again. Okay. Because that, that because that's the way your body's made, right? You, yeah. Yeah. And and so that, that doesn't really fit in with the traditional school schedule? Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Why don't you tell them about um, your difficulties with eating? Like, how long does it take you to eat half a sandwich? So... Half a sandwich for most people is a whole sandwich for me. Um. Okay, all right. It takes a while to digest, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, so it takes me um, 45 minutes to eat half a sandwich. Wow. Wow. Also, sorry, guys, about the dead air. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's an old radio pro already. That dead air business. I, I, you know, that's, that's our word. Actually, actually, there's nothing wrong with a little dead air. You know, you want to know why? Because then why? people turn up the radio and say, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so a little dead yeah. air is good. Special guests in studio, Clarabelle Nightingale and her friend Travis. Now, where, there's a GoFundMe page to help this young lady, right, Nick? Yeah. Yeah, and it's linked to our uh, Facebook Live page right now, so you can click on that. But one of the reasons why is uh, I'm reading here that uh, it says, Our local dentist who can perform the needed work won't take Medicaid, which she gets for her disabilities. So we can't see them at all for adjustments or follow-ups without paying cash. They're going to have the nicest teeth out there made for her, so they're comfortable and will help her with chewing the most. And right, right. So, yeah, I mean, that that's what the money's needed for. Yeah, that is correct. So, like, instead of getting implants, like... Most people would. Mm-hmm. They're little snap on and snap off things. So you take them off at nighttime and you like put them in somewhere clean. And then in the morning you put them back in. Very cool. Very cool. Now, what, what is the GoFundMe page called, Travis? Oh, we, uh, the easiest way to find it is on her website, clarabellnightingale.com. And there okay. was a link that take you straight through there. There is. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes, there is. All right. Also, there's my YouTube and my blog. I haven't started my blog yet. So, so we can find you on we can find Clarabelle Nightingale on YouTube. Um, yeah, there are some of my videos. All right, all right. So let's let let's talk a little bit a little bit more about your book, and uh, what what it's called, and uh, is it finished yet, or you're still working on it? I'm still working on it. Okay. So like, I've got two more. I think two more animals to introduce, and then like. All we have to do is figure out the illustrations. Mm-hmm. And that's why Travis is here. Yep. So, so yeah. Travis, so tell me about a little about your experience here. Uh, my experience, uh, I live in the Seattle, Portland area. Bounce around between those two. Uh, graphic design, uh, photography, and then uh, illustration when I can. So, But I haven't been doing a lot of that lately, so this is a great opportunity to help her out. And uh, What kind of ideas do you have that was, was since, since you talked with this lovely young lady? Um, it, it, she's just an amazing 
little spitfire of a girl that um <laughs> so it's you know and, but she's funny yeah. and and um whimsical and, and i want to make sure we get that across in she, the book yeah. she's a hoot I mean, anybody anybody that can stump your old radio announcer guy with dead air I'm telling you what. <laughs> yeah yeah she's got a this girl's got a future yep so. yeah so, yeah so we're working on the layout right now um and we're probably going to end up self-publishing at least the first book you know we're mm-hmm. hoping that you know we can make this a success and uh you know somebody will pick it up and Help us publish it. Well, let's hope so. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, do you do you have have you uh, uh, contacted a publisher yet, or still working? No, on not that? yet. We're okay. you know since the, she's not done with her writing right. stuff yet, Down and it. we're still working on initial okay. sketches. So. Well, do us a favor when yeah. you when you get your book finished, send one to us. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Did you do that? Yeah. Okay. And when I get um my book finished, Pea Green Boat is going to have me on again, and. I'm going to read it live. Fantastic. Oh, all right. All right. Because every kid who listens to Pea Green Boat loves her story. You got it. And we're, we're out of time. But it's been a, it's a delight meeting you. Thank you, Clarabelle. Thank, thank you for hour. having me. You bet. <laughs>